Welcome back. In Fox 5 Health News tonight, new prostate cancer tests may soon be on the market. They're expected to be more reliable than PSA screenings. Experts are hoping these tests will reduce false alarms and save men from unnecessary biopsies. And joining us right now, Fox News contributor Dr. David Samadhi. Thank you so much for being here. This is Thank your you, field yes. expertise. And you were starting to tell us this story is getting a lot of attention, yeah. particularly with all the controversy we've had with PSA testing. This sounds like pretty good news or what is it? It is a good news yeah. and you know look for the last two decades PSA has done its job and I think it has saved many lives out there mm -hmm. but PSA stands for prostate specific antigen what we really need is a prostate cancer specific antigen and and then this way we would be able to reduce the number of biopsies reduce the number of surgeries and radiation mm -hmm. and the unnecessary uh, procedures that's being done so now there are many companies that are coming out one of them is Opco Health and what it really does does is that instead of looking at one test like a PSA now they're combining about four different proteins to to find that if somebody is at higher risk risk stratification I for see. prostate cancer there are other companies that if you have had the biopsy and you have cancer now we'll, we can find out whether we should do the surgery or not which one of these cancers are more aggressive than the other ones and finally there's another company called Prostavision meaning that you've had the surgery you know it, what's the risk of recurrence should we treat you with radiation or not? So a lot of great genetic yeah. tests are coming in to really provide us with extra tool other than just PSA. Great news for, yeah. for the field of prostate Sounds cancer. Like, yeah. Sounds promising. And why are these tests, though, more reliable than PSA testing? I think neither one of them are that sensitive, but when you're going to combine all of them together, it's a detective work. You know, as a doctor, when a patient comes to my office with prostate cancer, I got to decide who's going to get the biopsy or not. So physical exam, family history, some of these tests, you put them together and you decide what should be Very done. Very quickly, does this become a little more confusing for men since we have all of these availabilities now? You know something, like I said, you really have to know what to do and how to interpret this okay. test. If you're in the field and you understand this test, it won't be confusing. For a lot of people out there, you know, getting your PSA, getting tests is extremely important that knowledge is power talk to your doctor and find out what needs to be done that's Got the key it. and always get a second opinion of all right course. doctor yeah. switching gears a little bit let's talk olive oil because this is an interesting <laughs> new study yeah. it finds the taste and smell of olive oil can actually impact how much we eat tell us about this i bet you he picked the topic because <laughs> i know he loves <laughs> olive, Greek oil. olive oil there you go. Nice, right? look we just had a great segment on fox news sunday household uh -huh. about the mediterranean diet you know and they had a really strong study coming out of spain that if you're taking mediterranean diet listen to this you can reduce the amount of your cholesterol by 30 percent and it's even more effective than some of the cholesterol medications we've never had this study like this that's true so what's the jewel of mediterranean diet mm -hmm. olive oil mm -hmm. and now in this study coming from germany they are finding out that if you're using and consuming olive oil in your food or even the scent of olive oil right. you can balance your sugar you increase your serotonin in your in your brain even from just the smell of it exactly right and you know why because yeah. the whole olfactory or the nerve that actually take the sense to the brain are very close to the emotions so you may uh, get a smell of vanilla for example yeah. now they know that that can reduce the level of stress and anxiety very very interesting yeah. now I know besides red wine olive oil is a big part of your diet sure. so I mean you're doing the right a thing lot of yeah. vegetables and fruits and all of that sort of thing keep us nice and healthy keep yeah. it up that, yeah. that that based on this study and we always knew that olive oil is good you for you just another study to confirm that we're right. loving it dr. David Samani thanks so much Good to see you guys. Have, Have a great week. week.